Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's accusations of racism at the heart of the royal family were not enough to earn them a place on a list of the most admired people in 2021. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Oprah Winfrey interview triggered global headlines and reached almost 50 million viewers around the world within the first two days of broadcast in March 2021. However big the audience, it was not enough to earn them a spot on pollster YouGov's list of the most admired 20 men and 20 women of 2021. Only one member of the royal family made the cut, Queen Elizabeth II, who came in third place, two spots behind Michelle Obama and one above Oprah. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were named on Time's list of the most influential people of 2021 but missed out on the top spot to Elon Musk, who was named the magazine's Person of the Year. Meghan told Oprah how an unnamed racist royal expressed concern about how dark her unborn child's skin might be. The Duchess also described feeling suicidal while a working royal and said the palace told her she could not go to a psychiatric hospital because it would make the monarchy look bad. The CBS primetime special triggered a tidal wave of commentary on both sides of the Atlantic but the significant global conversation had an unpredictable effect on public opinion. Far from winning Britons over to Meghan and Harry's perspective, the UK public appeared to turn against the couple who crashed to their lowest ever favorability ratings. At the same time, other royals appeared broadly unaffected by the allegations against them in the court of public opinion. The British press launched a predictable counterattack against the couple but months later there were signs the rest of the world may also have moved on. Prince Charles was accused by his son during the interview of cutting the couple off financially after their royal exit. However, that did not stop Charles taking center stage at the opening of the COP26 climate change conference when he exchanged warm words with the U.S. president. Joe Biden told the future king in November, we need you badly, I am not just saying. You got the whole thing going, that's how it started. Prince William was also the subject of a People cover story in September proclaiming him the new leader of the monarchy. Oprah with Meghan and Harry also missed out on an Emmy to Stanley Tucci's Italian food show. Nine months on from broadcast, the UK polls still appear to be resolutely behind the royals over Meghan and Harry, although the Duke's standing has recovered a little over time. Quarterly polling by YouGov showed Prince Harry was liked by 36% of Britons and disliked by 43%, giving him net approval of minus 7 points in quarter 3 between July and September. Meghan Markle was viewed positively by 28% and negatively by 51%, giving her a net approval of minus 23 points. Queen Elizabeth II was seen favorably by 72% and unfavorably by 11%, giving her a net approval of plus 61%. Prince William was liked by 62% and disliked by 15%, leaving him on plus 47 points. Prince Charles was viewed positively by 45% and negatively by 24% putting him on plus 31 points. In the other hand, an analysis of how many times the royal family wedding dresses were searched for in Google shows that Meghan beats out her royal sister-in-law for the top position. Meghan's wedding gown generated a total of 51,000 searches on average per month in 2021, securing her the title of the most searched for royal wedding dress of the year. The Duchess of Sussex donned a custom Givenchy dress, designed by Claire Waite Keller, when she tied the knot with Prince Harry at Windsor in 2018. The research by Casino B looked at monthly Google searches for 15 of the world's favorite royal weddings of the last century. A spokesperson for Casino B commented, Meghan Markle has been a fashion icon since she was catapulted onto the world stage when news broke of her romance with Prince Harry in 2016. The enduring popularity of her wedding dress, despite the wedding taking place almost five years ago, is a testament to the Duchess' effortlessly elegant and timeless style. Despite leaving her official role as a working role, this study highlights her unwavering ability to keep the world's attention on her, not only through her actions but also through her iconic style. Close behind Meghan is Kate, Duchess of Cambridge who came in second in the research's rankings. She received a not-too-shabby total of 47,000 global searches on average per month. The Duchess married Prince William ten years ago, stunning onlookers in her Alexander McQueen dress made by Sarah Burton. Finishing third was the Duke of Cambridge's late mother, Princess Diana who racked up 30,000 average monthly searches. The Princess of Wales married Prince Charles in the summer of 1981, over four decades ago. Further down the list at number 5 was Her Majesty the Queen, gathering up 7,700 average monthly searches. 